And welcome back to Let's Play Beyond Oasis. When we last left off, we were making our way through the Shadowlands. And if you couldn't tell by the title of this video, this should in fact be the finale of this Let's Play series. And it's kind of sad because I rather enjoyed this game. Now, let's go ahead and call Shade, shall we? Because we need him for stuff. Mainly, we need him to get a hold of this black gem, which should in fact be the last black gem. Yep, all 15 black gems accounted for. Now let's go ahead and do this. And let's go ahead and get this chest over here, which has yet a green gem. This should be number 14, but I freaking screwed up. Oops. Now let's go ahead and jump down here and... Let's just screw that guy up and also get rid of this ghost who's highly intent on draining all my SP. Jerk bag. Yeah, there's the idle animation for Ali when he's holding a sword. Now, Bo, get over here and nom on this gate, will you? Thank you. Now, I honestly don't need Bo for this part up ahead because, oh boy, it's a real doozy if you don't know what you're doing. Now, before destroying this bit of ice, I would highly suggest calling Shade. Because this bit is... This bit coming up really sucks if you don't have him. And straight off the bat, I'm going to want to use Doppelganger. And why is that? Because so that way I can get rid of all these guys in an instant. Now... Ah! God! Now let's just get rid of these guys. And now that they're gone, that chest should appear. However, I'm not going to go and get that chest just yet. I actually need to do something. Now, if we go back to right where we fell down this place, yep, that portal appears once you've pressed that switch. Or, yeah, as long as if you defeat that, if you beat that room. Now, let's just go back. Yeah, we're going to need to go back a little bit. Yeah, and I don't know how long this video is. It's probably going to be fairly short. No! So, who knows? It might take freaking ages. It might take five years in order to get through this because I keep falling down damn holes. Alright, now let's go through here. Let's leave this place. I don't want to go ahead and meet my destiny. Now, yep, once you beat the wind room, that portal appears. And I actually do want to go back to it. And you know what? I think it should be yeah, fairly simple to go through here. Bye, zombies! Yeah, if I... Yeah, I should be able to just jump back down here. Yep. Now let's call in Daito. Why not? Get full heals. Well, actually, I can't have Daito because I need to use the light ball. Now, using this portal transports us back all the way to Mount Alat. And there's going to be quite a bit of resistance because now that I'm back here, I can actually get the gem that I missed, and let's go ahead and grab this cheese. Because, I mean, why not? Ah! Stupid jerks! Now I just want to jump back, and I want to go back down here. Now let's go ahead and get shade again, because I'm going to need shade for getting back to that portal there. Now the now the chest that contains the gem I missed is right over here. And inside, yep, as you could have got guessed from the get-go, is that... Yeah, it's a green gem. Really jumped the gun there. And hey! Stop that! Ugh. Yeah, and I'm just gonna off-screen getting back to the wind room. And the thing is, of course, if you leave the Dark Lands, or the Shadow Lands, sorry, wrong thing. Hey, no! Stupid knights! And stupid... Everything's a jerk in this game. 
Yeah, because once you leave the Shadowlands, you have to do just about everything, except having to get back the red key, because those are considered key items. Yeah, and I just realized I just said key items for a key. Alright, let's get rid of you. And uh, this leads us right back to the beginning. So, just give me a moment and I shall meet you back in the Wind Room. You know what? I thought I might as well just do this whole room again, because, well, it's easy enough to deal with. Yeah. Now, I think if you didn't have the use of shade at this part... Oh, hey, some grapes. I actually think I'll use, take those, because I don't have any other items. Yeah, I had to use the cheese up on the way here. Now... Now, I think the way that you could do it is that you'd have to, like, block one of the eye beams that dropped and then, like, just, like, sh keep shifting side to side. But you have to be careful because a guard will actually come and get you. Now, in this chest lies a green gem. And, of course, it's not just any green gem. It is the last green gem. Now, let's see. I am actually going to need... Daito for what's coming up ahead. Because anybody who's played this game would probably know what lies ahead. Alright. Now, got everything that we want, got everything that we can find. Let's go on through. I've been waiting for you. It's been an interesting game, but now it's time to finish it. You cannot stop the revival of the creator of the Silver Armlet. My master, Akito! And, oh, yep. Hello, Silver Armlet! Well, let's go ahead and deal with all the shadow minions that he summoned, because they're kind of getting in the way. And, ah. Uh, Do that, so I can actually have that. And yeah, I'm going to want to use the Omega Sword to finish off all the minions. However, well done. I must reward you for your persistence, Gold Armlet. I reward you with your death. And yep, it's boss time against Silver Armlet. And for this fight, for this fight, I am actually going to use the knife. Now, Silver Armlet is a bit of a tricky customer to deal with. And, ah! Please don't blind my viewers like that! Yeah, Silver Armlet will summon a bunch of enemies. And of course, oh god. Ugh. Yeah, Silver Armlet for the most part will dodge most of our attacks. And, of course, Silver Armlet will sometimes pull off that move. And, of course, you could also hit Silver Armlet with bombs as well. And also, why can't Art Knife do that? Ah! Let go! Ah! Come on! Bring it! Oh, hey, yeah, heart. No, I'm getting that heart. Yeah! Ow. Ow! Now with that heart, that... Yep, I did get another heart along the way. So that's good. Ah! And I think Silver Armlet can only summon a bunch, a finite amount of enemies, like up to four. Come on! Freaking get rid of them for me, will ya? Ah! Stupid... Yeah, I think Silver Arm was actually definitely dodging that. Oh god! Ugh! Ah! Come on! Oh ho! And yeah, that's it! Silver Armlet's dead and that- Oh, a heart! It's gonna fade! Damn it! You won. I misjudged your superior abilities. But you will not defeat Agito. He has returned to resume his throne! And off Silver Armlet goes, and... Bummer. 
Missed the chance to get that one final heart. And hey, Silver Armlet, get the frick back here! Oh, well look at that, it's the Silver Armlet. But where's Silver Armlet himself? Oh god! You are ugly! And it is final boss time against Agito himself. And the thing is, Agito, for the most part, is kind of invulnerable. But what we need to do in order to damage him is... Yeah, we have to kill those tentacles that spawn. And... Yeah, from time to time, they'll... These slimes will appear. And they have a chance of dropping either atomic bows with 15 uses or lettuce, as you saw. Now we shall win the day with Kick Fu! And you went back into your shell. Oh god! Get out of here! Frickin' Stop exploding on me, please! Yeah, this fight does take a bit of... Can take a bit of time with the knife, as you can see there. But, yeah. Oh, look, see? Right there. Told you they dropped atomic bows. Get rid of you! And, yeah. If those things... What is up with this room? Like, look at all the bones! Is there, this some sacrificial altar? Get back! Yeah, there should be some more of those tentacles at the side. Ah! Take that! Boat to the head! Yeah! Boat to the head! And, oh yeah. Once you get damaged to Gito enough times, he will start breathing fire, which can hurt. And now time for some more tentacles. There's only so many tentacles you can that you need to deal with before I before they finally stop appearing. Because I think this should be the last wave. And, ah! Good god! Oh! Jesus! Like that! Oh! Get, get out of here! And it's a chain reaction! Yeah, baby! Oh, hey! Oh, God! Come on! Dang it! Oh, hey! Heart! I'd like that, please! Now, I really, really want to try this. I really want to try and get that freaking combo off. Oh, yeah! Yeah, we can just stab Agito. I thought you had to jump kick him. Well, these things are really dropping a whole lot of lettuce for us. Ow! On. Ah! No, I refuse. I refuse. Yes, I finally been able to actually freaking do this. Oh god. Yeah! Triple knife flip for the win! Woo! And that's it. Game over. No, oh, hey, Silver Armlet, how's it going? So, we shall now see who his identity is. Uh, oh, it's you, Allie. It's me, your elder sister, Gwyn. Yep, he is a she, and she so happens to be Allie's sister. This whole time! So that's where you've been, huh? So what the heck happened to you? I heard your voice, but I could do nothing. I was possessed. Ah. Finally, I got back my... my memories. Oh. I feel the power finally filling the world. Thank you, my master, Gold Armlet. You saved our world. But now we must remain here. I am proud to have both fought for you and beside you. You shall be remembered forever. Bo had fun time. Now this warp will bring you back home. Goodbye, friend Ali. 
And you're coming with us, right, Gwyn? Ali, wait. I destroyed things and killed people. Even though I was possessed and controlled, I must make atonement for my sins. And what are you doing? Ali, tell this to everyone. Agito and the Silver Armlet Minion have been destroyed forever. They will never endanger Oasis again. You are coming with us, right? Nope. She's staying behind, and the gold armlet... Yeah. Now, let me say goodbye and thank you, my brother. Ho ho ho! Yeah. We are victorious. The silver... or the gold armlet is gone, and so is the silver armlet, but now it doesn't all matter. Nikito is dead, and we are right back home. Yep, right back in the village. And the king is alright, you freaking dog! Like, freaking he was just pulling our leg! And there is Gl Gwyn, sorry, getting a little flustered, who is gliding across the screen because they did not, she has no legs because they are not animated. And what is she planning to do with those armlets? Why? She plans to, in fact, seal them away for good. Because no power like that should ever fall into the wrong hands. Thus, the gold and silver armlets fell dormant. After saying farewell to his companions, Ali returned to his world and succeeded to the throne. The kingdom of Oasis prospered peacefully under the wise reign of King Ali. Yep. That's it. Game over. Also, I just hope I'll press the right button. Yeah, kind of making a save state because I'm probably going to have to do all my afterthoughts on around this bit because I'm, you know, I'm no good doing this off the cuff. So, here we have the title screen and there you can see all the spirits right there. Anyways, I think I shall let future me take over for now and give you my thoughts. First off, I'd like to give a special thanks to Orikio from RPGclassics.com as it's because of him I was able to make this Let's Play as informative as it could be. Now, I definitely gotta say I highly enjoyed this game as the visuals were nice and colorful and the effects that they used were rather cool and the music was highly fitting for the areas that they were used in. And the gameplay was more or less solid Though the jumping could have used a little bit of touching up because it was a little bit too unforgiving. And the spirits, I definitely liked how the, each of them had their own uses and how they had more than one source of getting them. Now, with each of the spirits individually, Daito, her strongest suit was healing, Ifrit for being a bruiser, Shade for his defensive and utility abilities, and Bo... He was kind of mad, but the best that he was good at was stun locking. Now, combat, it was definitely really serviceable. Because I definitely liked how each of the melee weapons had their own unique set of moves. And I definitely liked the damage type interactions between physical and fire based weapons. And. Though I will have to say that certain criticisms I have to find is that the bows were kind of hard to use considering how enemies would just really close in the distances a little bit too fast. And also I found that some of the combos, like the knife flip and the five sword slash, was a little bit impractical. But I was really happy I was able to pull off the knife flip on Agito. And I did off screen try the sword combo on Agito. He wasn't, it's kind of meh, kind of misses a little bit more or less. Now when it comes to the different enemy types in the game, they definitely did provide their own unique challenge and they were, for the most part, fun to fight. Though some were pretty easy and some were rather damn annoying. As for the bosses themselves, I definitely found that they were kind of mediocre for the most part, simply due to the fact that they were alone and I was also using the best gear I had at the time for each of them, though Silver Armlet and Agito were definitely a bit of a challenge since they had help, and I was also using the knife. And those are my quick thoughts on the game itself. 
Now, this isn't exactly the end, because about two years later or so, there was a prequel made for the Sega Saturn that goes by the name of The Legend of Oasis, or the story of Thor 2. Which is kind of funny, considering that it's a prequel, yet it has a 2, which would... Wouldn't you think it would signify it's a sequel? But, yeah. And I will be doing that as a Let's Play eventually, but for now I have something else in mind. And, yeah, from what I've seen of that game, it actually does look rather fun. So, I'll definitely be looking forward to doing that, and I hope you will too. Now, let's see... I don't know. Also, something I should mention is that this bit of post-commentary took way longer than it needed to be. I don't know why, but it did. Anyways, if you just wait for it... The end. Copyright by Sega 1995 and music copyright 1994 by Yuzo Koshiro. Thank you so much for having this game made, and there is also, yep, a result screen. There is all my stats, all my kills, and yep, there is a total of 60 jewels in the game, and my class is Berserker. And the thing is, the lower your rank, the better it is. Yep, you heard me right. So you kind of have to avoid all that stuff. And of course, this is a second take on this recording, because I kind of didn't really like it at all. And there you go, you had the cast on the last screen, and there you have the enemies, and back to here. And once you press the start button, you should be brought back to this, the boot screen? I don't know. But yeah, there we go. That's it. That's all there is to it. And this will be the last we'll see of your face, Ellie. It's been a fun adventure, but I'll be seeing ya. And, with that, I shall finally end it here. I've been the Northern Star Dragon, this has been Let's Play Beyond Oasis, and I shall see you in the next LP, whatever it may be!